With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Find n if np5 is equal to 42 into np3 and n is greater than equal to 5. So, we are given that n p5 is equal to 42 times of n p3 right so now we have to find the value of n first we'll expand this n p5 now we can see that it's in the form of n p r what's the formula for n p r it's n factorial upon n minus r factorial right if we expand this n p 5 if we expand n p 5 we'll get n factorial upon n minus 5 factorial right which is equal to 42 times of now we'll expand n p 3 it's same in the form of n p r so we have n factorial upon n minus 3 factorial from here we can cancel n factorial and n factorial, right? So, we'll get 1 upon n minus 5 factorial is equal to 42 upon n minus 3 factorial, right? Now, if we expand n minus 3 factorial, we have 1 upon n minus 5 factorial is equal to 42 times of n minus 3 into n minus 4 into n minus 5 factorial right from here we can cancel n minus 5 and n minus 5 factorial so we are left with if we take if we cross multiply now if we cross multiply we'll get n minus 3 into n minus 4 is equal to 42 so now from here if we solve this equation we have n into n n square n into minus 4 is minus 4 n minus 3 n plus 12 which is equal to 42 if we bring 42 to the left hand side we have n square minus 4 minus 4 into mi minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7 n plus 12 minus 42 is equal to 0 we have n square minus 7 n minus 30 is equal to 0 now if we further simplify and find the roots we'll solve it by by splitting splitting the middle term splitting the middle term what is splitting the middle term Splitting the middle term is we'll split the middle term in such a way that the sum of the numbers is minus 7n and the product of the numbers is 30n square. So n square minus 10n plus 3n minus 30 is equal to 0. Now from the first two terms we can take out n common. So n minus 10 and from the second term we can take out 3 common so n minus 10 so we have two factors here we have n plus 3 and we have n minus 10 so n is equal to minus 3 and n is equal to 10 so now we have two values for n now the question says that the value of n should be greater than or equal to 5 now if the question says that n should be greater than equal to 5 which means we have to neglect n is equal to minus 3 we neglect n is equal to minus 3 because of the conditions so n is equal to 10 so what's the value of 10 n what's the value of n it's 10 and that's our final answer thank you for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.